Hey, thanks for tuning in to Better Done Yourself. Tonight I'm making baba ganoush. Baba ganoush is a super easy dish to make. It's just a couple of roasted eggplants and a little tahini and some lemon juice and a couple of spices. But here, stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it and you can enjoy this. It's just a, it's an eggplant dip that you, you <laughs> what can I say? Try it, you'll love it. Stay tuned. First step in the baba ganoush is just to poke a couple of holes in the skin. We're going to roast this for an hour, so we just want to make sure these things don't explode in the oven and we lose all our lovely fruit. Okay, into the oven with these. Once the oven's preheated to 350, you can go ahead and put the eggplants in. We're going to cook those for about an hour. All right, it's been a little over an hour. I guess we can take these out. They're definitely cooked. Now, you'll be a lot happier if you cool these guys. What I like to do is just take them. You can see how <laughs> tender they are. Get them in a bowl. And then just throw a layer of cling wrap over them. And what this will do is basically just steam the skins off of them. It'll make it so that when, once these are cool, It'll be super easy to get the, the flesh out of the out of those purple skins. All right, once the eggplant's cooled off, you can see the plastic starting to suck into the bowl here. You can tell it's cooled off. Um, pour off all this liquid, and then you're gonna wanna extract all of the flesh from these eggplant. Still a little hot, but I'm hungry. I want my baba ganoush. You can dry the eggplant out a little bit. Just put set it into a colander and let some of the, the juices drain out of it. Once your eggplant is cooled and drained, you can add the eggplant you can see I've got quite a bit more liquid off the bottom of it. But then from there, you're just going to add your flavorings to taste. I've got um, a little bit of sumac is nice, is a little bit of a, it's kind of a lemony flavor, uh, very common in Middle Eastern dishes. Cumin, again, just a quarter of a teaspoon, not a lot. I probably did a, a teaspoon of sumac, quarter teaspoon of cumin. For your tahini, look for, look for something that actually comes from the Middle East. Look for something that, I mean, you can find a lot of different brands. This appears to come from the Middle East. Uh, I'm going to go two tablespoons. Juice of half a lemon. This is a big lemon. Oh my goodness. About a tablespoon of juice there. And then two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Use a whisk and you can mash the eggplant and incorporate all those ingredients. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. We'll taste this and we'll see if, we'll probably have to add a little bit more, but that's a good start for it. A lot of people will make this, they'll put it in the blender and just mash the crap out of it and it just turns into it just this kind of beige paste. I think I like it like this. I like it with the, the strands. I like it with the, a little bit of fiber in it and uh, makes for a nicer presentation. But mash this together, stir this together. And then experiment with the taste. See if you want more lemon juice, more oil. The oil is a, a, a counter effect to the bitterness of the eggplant. Eggplant by nature is just bitter. When you're cooking, 
and you need to balance out bitterness, add oil. Oil balances bitterness and, and takes away the bitterness. Put a piece of film over this and just let this sit for about an hour and let the those flavors melt, let the, the sumac and the cumin um, bloom a little bit and, and let those flavors come out. And don't refrigerate this. This You're going to eat this in a couple of minutes anyway. But this is best served at room temperature. A lot of people will tell you, oh, it needs to be refrigerated, it needs to be, you know, chilled. No, I disagree. This is best served warm at room temperature, and you're really going to get the best flavor out of this. So cut up some pita bread, uh, maybe some pita chips, something like that, some little carrot sticks or something like that, and um, this is baba ganoush. Baba ganoush is Arabic for pampered papa, so I, the, the Arabs would, you know, roast their eggplants and, and, and mix it up with some nice flavors like this and serve it to their fathers and, and, and take care of their fathers this way. So I can appreciate this. Thanks for watching, you guys. Enjoy.